Hello again everyone, this is Tim Buell for GottaBeMobile.com and I'm back today with another iPhone video tutorial. Today's topic is what to do if iTunes won't recognize your iPhone. Well, there's a couple of usual culprits to check, including the physical cable connection, the USB port connection, as well as any software fixes. So the good first place to start is to actually check the lightning connection on your iPhone. Now there's a couple of different ways you can check the connection, one of which is to try plugging in another iPhone or use the cable on a charger and make sure that it actually does connect to the iPhone. Frequently, if we're using the same cable over time, sometimes the cables can actually go on the fritz before your iPhone's connection will. So it's actually a good idea to have multiple lightning cables on hand that you can test out for this very reason. Now, if you're on a Mac and you want to actually check that the iPhone's being recognized on your Mac, you can go to the system profiler and click on the USB bus in the hardware section and basically see if your iPhone is showing up there as an active user of a USB port. Again, this is something you want to try probably with multiple cables if you're still not getting a response. Now, when it comes to software related fixes for connection issues, doing a hard reset on your iPhone is definitely advised in case there's a software hiccup that's preventing the connection from being made. In order to perform this for your particular device, you're going to want to look and see which iPhone you have and the proper way to force reset the device. This is not something you want to do for every situation, especially if you're experiencing hangups or something of the like, but for this case where we're not able to get connected to iTunes, it's definitely a good first step. If you're still not able to connect after performing the hard reset, you may need to restore the operating system on the device, and you can do so right from the iPhone itself by going to General and Settings, and then all the way down at the bottom, click Reset and Erase All Content and Settings. Generally, you should see your iPhone pop right up under a devices section in iTunes and you'll be able to sync freely to it. However, if you're not able to see it on that end, it's also a good idea to reinstall the iTunes application itself as sometimes that can be where the issue lies. These are some of the most common fixes for getting your iPhone connected to iTunes if it's no longer being recognized. Hope you found it helpful. Take care.